piece. So I am in the process of making a baked cauliflower parmesan. So just like you would make a chicken parm, instead I'm using cauliflower. So right now I've got some florets that I'm tossing around in an egg batter. Um, next, I've got my breadcrumbs here, that's some seasoned breadcrumbs. And I'm just going to be putting my florets in here and tossing them around um, to make sure that they're evenly covered. I'm just gonna do a few at a time and just shake them up a bit. Over here to the side, I've got a cookie sheet with some parchment paper that I'm gonna be placing the florets on. I find that they cook very well on a cookie sheet with the parchment paper. So just one by one, just gonna get them on here. Um, and I would have normally used a cauliflower steak, but I didn't have big enough cauliflower, so I had to use these little tiny florets. And it is a little tedious to do this, takes a little bit of time, but you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm gonna bake this at 425 and boom, there you have it. And I think I cooked these for about maybe 20 minutes at 425. They're delicious like this, but of course I'm gonna have to add me some sauce. Use whatever your favorite spaghetti sauce is and then top with mozzarella. Uh, you could just use pot, uh, excuse me, uh, Parmesan cheese if you preferred. I'm actually going to add my Parmesan cheese at the very end. So I'm going to let this cook down first, and then the last maybe five minutes, I'll add some Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, but before I put this in the oven, I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of Italian seasoning. And then I'm just going to bake this really until the cheese melts down. And voila, there you have it. Doesn't it look delicious? And so over here, I have some spaghetti squash. You can find um, how I made this in my previous video. But yes, we have got some cauliflower parm and spaghetti squash on the plate. Now, I should be eating something green with this, like some broccoli or some asparagus, um, but I neglected to do that, so this is what it is. So let me show you how this works. So you're gonna take your fork and you're just gonna kind of scrape it like that. And there is a little bit of extra texture only because I added the Parmesan cheese, but you know, once you work with it, you can see it just turns into spaghetti right and if you want you can add some more sauce on there or you can just eat it like this straight out of the spaghetti squash delicious 